hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider to subscribe to help the channel thank you very much indeed for stopping by thank you very much indeed for clicking i'm excited i want to show you this samba this is lg samba s 65q samba this samba is beautiful it deserves your attention this is with meridian technology 420 watts and 400 watts audio power basically what we want to do is unbox this samba check it out see what is inside i hope this will help you to make informed choice about this samba okay so this is 3.1 channel samba Three point one channel sound, but very immersive cinematic sound, AI sound pro designed with environment in mind. So let's check this stuff out and see what is inside. This is with wireless subwoofer. Samba, you can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth optical cable and HDMI. Let's check. Nice. It's nice packaging. So now what you need to do is just bring this out first. Okay, first of all you need to bring out so this is the packaging inside here you got all the information pack here and remote control the power cable so the power cable is in here this is European use so the US one will have small size of the head okay, for the power cable so this is UK power cable and wall mount and uh, double air battery included in the packaging so now this is this is the subwoofer wireless subwoofer So this is the subwoofer, and here is the main gear. This is the sandbar. So from here, so just gonna move this away, just to make sure nothing else. is just to make sure we have so that okay. so you need to the optical cable you need to buy the optical cable separate it's not included I can see it here so far it's nice so, so first of all we need to From here, just need to open it up. This is the so this is the subwoofer. So this is the wireless subwoofer. Okay. 
nice beautiful so the subwoofer usually connect automatically with the samba once you plug it on it will pick up the samba via bluetooth okay. see what the what it looks like so this is the wireless subwoofer okay beautiful so it goes this way so you see four plastic stand on it okay so you just need to put it down this way okay and plug it on to this socket Next is this is the sandbag. I'm excited. Wow, it's very, it's very light. It's not heavy. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. This is beautiful stuff, very light. And uh, so it got a bit of test cloth, black clothing. Okay, and from the back here is plastic. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now the power cable goes in DC in. On top of it, you will see optical cable. Optical cable in goes in here for you to connect it to TV using optical cable. And then this end you you have HDMI out TV arc. And also you have HDMI in and five volt 500 ma for usb here so this is what we have here lg sandbag s65 q you see hdmi dts dolby audio bluetooth this is nice decent sandbar with 400 400 watts audio power and 420 pretty much all the sandbar and the subwoofer this is nice and with this sandbar you can change to various mode AI Sand Pro so this is the power cable so this is the remote control so what we need to do is we need to put the battery inside okay this is the remote control the power cable goes in here this end push it inside okay. and plug it onto the socket So before you plug it, it's onto the socket. So this, the DC and the power cable goes in here first of all. Okay, it goes in. Now then you plug it onto the socket. Okay, so now what we need to do is with this, you need to switch it on so when you switch this on you see the light showing here and it's showing us now optical okay so you need to select bluetooth and you can see bt ready so now it's bluetooth ready okay so now what we need to do is use the, my mobile phone to look for this sound bar and test the audio I'm going to test this audio using epidemic sound before we do that I also want to tell you a bit of information with this. So with this sandbar, this sandbar got six speakers. Six speakers. Power is 400 watts power. DTS Visual X Meridian Technology High Resolution Audio. Okay, and it's 3.1 channel sandbar. Total power output is 400 watts for the audio sandbar mode control tv mode 
Meridian Technology AI Sun Pro Processing Dolby Digital DTS Surround and you can change this from different preset mode you can change it to standard music cinema clear voice sports game and bass plus you do this using the remote control okay so you can you press this to change it to specific mode you want like i mentioned earlier is bluetooth connection hdmi arc and optical cable and one usb port and in terms of uh, sandbar we just want to measure this sandbar to measure this from here to this end okay so this sandbar is 100 centimeter and from here is 11 centimeter 11 centimeter and from this end to here is 100 centimeter the subwoofer from here is 17.5 centimeter for the subwoofer from the top and from the bottom to the top or height is 39 centimeter okay so this is the overview now what we want to do is to test the audio to test the audio we need to go to the bluetooth from the phone okay make sure you select bluetooth ready from the sound but then you connect go to your mobile device and go to the settings and select connection switch the bluetooth on your mobile device and look for lg s 65q select on it and the pairing bluetooth pairing request select pair okay and they can see it's is is paired okay and it will show you the name is paired with my phone now we're going to test the audio using epidemic sound okay now we're, go we're going to go to the save music this is the audio With the remote control you can select the specific mode you can select this to standard this is the standard mode this is the standard
the cinematic mode. So this is cinematic mode. Back in there, back in the bag again. Cinematic mode. So this is clear mode, clear voice. This is sports. This is music. 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 This is game, game mode. DTS Visual X. This is Buzz Blast. Buzz Blast.
best in the audience. What I want to show you is how to hook this soundbar up to your TV. You can connect it to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, and HDMI. If you check my video, we connected this soundbar. You will see how we connected it using optical cable and HDMI. What I want to show you is how to connect it to your TV via Bluetooth. And to do this, what you need to do is once you plug the soundbar and wireless subwoofer on, then the next thing to do is switch it on. Okay, and select Bluetooth. And it's showing us now BT ready. Okay, now the next thing to do, you need to switch the TV on. And this is the TV audio. TV audio. Now go to your TV settings, select the settings. So go to the TV settings. So once you select the city TV setting, then scroll down to the sound, and you can see the sound is showing us TV speaker. Select on it. Now use the side arrow to go to Bluetooth device. Scroll down to select select device list. Okay, and now it's searching for available Bluetooth device. Okay, and here we go. You can see LG S65Q. Select on it. And it's connecting. It's connected. This is the audio. So this is the audio. With, you can see LG showing us LG TV. Okay, so this is exactly how this works. It, it can increase the volume. You can also change it. I like to create my own fabric when I'm upcycling projects. Yeah, this is, so I think that's the plan for this. So this is the audio. I move this around because I don't want to leave it in one particular place. But this is exactly how this work. How to hook this up. Again. The Bluetooth. With this soundbar, you can also change to specific mode. This is cinematic. This is cinematic mode. This is, this is clear voice. Pets aren't just animals, they're part of our story. Our bedtime guardians. This is sports. And that's why we this is music, so you can increase the volume. Animal Friends is here so you can create more stories together. Plus, every pet policy comes with an added purpose, helping us donate millions to animal welfare charities worldwide. Animal Friends, because all good stories... And when the soundbar is in Bluetooth mode, you can control it with TV remote and the remote for the soundbar as well. So you can, can control it with both of the remotes when it's in Bluetooth connection. Okay, so this is how to hook this up via Bluetooth. If you're happy with this, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. This is optical cable.
I got at home. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your TV via optical cable. But before we do that, this sandbar, the audio power is 400 watts. The total power with wireless subwoofer is 420. The audio power is 400 watts. This sandbar, you can change it to various mode. You have a clear voice using the remote control so you can change this is now in bass blast you can change it to ai sound pro ai sound pro you can also change it by pressing this button here just the button underneath the volume for you to decrease the volume just underneath you select this is ai standard so this standard mode you can change it to cinema, cinematic mode. And this is sports. You can also change it to music. You can also change it to game. DTS visual. Bass Plus. So this is Bass Plus. Now, to connect this sandbar okay, to TV, to hook it up is what I want to show you. So to connect this sandbar to TV, I'm going to use LG TV to connect the sandbar via optical cable. And to do this, what you need to do is you need to use the optical cable, plug it into optical, okay, and it's in. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to first of all also unplug the sandbar, okay. Now, Take this end, this is optical. Okay, put it, go into the optical end. This is where it goes. I must say the space is not really enough space for you to go in, but this is where it goes. You just need to find a way to push this inside. Okay, so it's done in, but I must say it's a bit of a, a struggle. There should be enough space for you to put the optical, but it's gone in. Okay, so now plug the power cable. Okay, in. So this is the power cable. Go push it inside. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to plug in the sandbar and the wireless subwoofer. Plug it back in. Okay, and plug the TV. Plug the TV on, okay, and the TV is on. And also, you need to make sure connect the TV antenna. Okay, so now so from this TV, so you need to switch the sandbar on. Okay, and this is the sandbar. It's showing us hello. We need to change it to then use the input to change it to optical, okay? Optical slash HDMI act. So now go to the TV, go to the settings for the TV, scroll down to the audio, optical out device. So this is how to hook this up, okay? I don't want to leave this in one particular place due to copyright issue, but this is the audio. You can also increase the volume. This is the audio. So with this, you can increase, increase the volume. What I want to do is to show you how to hook this up to TV via HDMI cable. This soundbar is with audio power 400 watts. I must say, to put this optical cable, we need enough, there's not enough space, so it should really be a bit of gap, okay? But I managed to put this, okay, with optical cable, so you need a bit of space. Now, what I want to show you is how to hook this up. First of all, I need to remove the optical cable then and hook this up
to using hdmi okay so this opt cable out okay so with hdmi cable to hook it up you need to go to hdmi out tv arc okay so put the cable in Okay, so it's in. You just need to try to squeeze it in. But I must say that really should be enough space for you to be able to do this. But the cable is gone in. So it's in. Here my TV e arc. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is to the back of the TV. Okay, turn the TV around. So this end of the cable needs to go to HDMI in to e arc. Okay, so it's in. So the cable is here. Just need to push it inside. HDMI, just you see HDMI in to e arc, the back of the TV. So just gonna turn this around. So plug in the, the antenna. Now plug in the sound bar okay so from here the next thing to do is we need to switch on the sound bar so switch the sound bar on then select you will see the button for the button for for you to mute the audio after that the next one is input Okay, the next one with the cable is input. So select on it to change it to specific. So once you switch the sound bar on, it will show you hello. Okay, then press this button. Okay, for you to change it to this is BT Bluetooth LG TV HDMI USB. So now it's currently in HDMI slash optical okay so now switch the tv on and you can see hdmi 2 available this, this, this is the audio and if you so this is the audio if you want to know the, the next thing to do is you need to you need to go to the settings I want to move this around. I don't want to leave it in one place due to copyright issues. So select the settings for the TV. So select the settings. Once you select the settings, then you need to scroll down to sound. So scroll down to sound. You can see HDMI ARC device. So now this is the. So this soundbar is connected via HDMI and they're showing us here ARC. Okay, so this is how to hook this up via HDMI app. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. So I move this around. You can also increase the volume. Clues as to who would inherit the school land. You can increase the volume as well. You can also select specific mode you want. You can select voice mode. And this is Bass Blast AI Sound. This is AI Sound. This is standard cinematic. So, this is how to hook this up. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you.